Um, Cara asked, when you became famous, how did it impact on your social life? I mean, did your friends stick by you? Yeah, my friends have been absolutely, my friends and family have been absolutely amazing. Um, and I couldn't have, I couldn't have probably got through all of the, the stuff that I've done if if it wasn't for them because you know you, you need some you need you need a, a big well quite a big group of people that you you know you can go home and see you've had a bit of a rubbish day or you you didn't get on with this person or that person and you know you need somebody to vent at you know it's normal that you so and you need people that you can trust and aren't going to kind of tell the whole world how you're feeling and I've got that with my friends and family and that's why I love going home so much and that's why I always made the decision to live there because it was just I needed to be around them. They're the most important people in my life. So that's, that's, I just love them a bit. Amy, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, oh, maybe it's floral gums and dye coke. <laughs> I don't think that would, um, that would keep us full. So it would probably have to be something like, I do eat a lot of chicken, a lot of chicken. So maybe it's chicken. Chicken? Yeah, I'll say chicken. Denise King. Joe, Ben's part is going to be great. Are you excited for your homecoming show? I can not wait for Ben's Park. I, you know, I get excited for all my shows, but this is the ultimate excitement. I've been dying to come back to South Shields and perform. I haven't performed in my hometown, and I think that's just wrong. After all the support I got from them and everybody else, I think... I just need to come back and do a, a big show and really kind of thank everybody for the support that they've given us over the two years of, of since coming out of the show and everything that's happened after and I can't wait. I am, And I'm going to add a few little surprises and I'm bringing the dancers along. It's going to be big and it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a proper Joe McEldry show. <laughs> um, Jade Irwin asks, question one, who is Joe HQ? Joe HQ is modest management. Um, we need to know. <laughs> question two is, did you spend ages as a kid practicing, practicing your signature so it would look good when you became a celeb? Uh, <laughs> it's a good question. No, I didn't actually. I never, ever really... I never really had the desire to be famous or... You know, I never expected I'd be signing my signature. So I did when we first went in at the X Factor. Well, the X Factor tour. This is quite a funny story, actually. In the X Factor house, you didn't really ha get. We didn't. We, we weren't really outside that much. We didn't get to meet many people. So we'd, while we we're on the show, you know, you didn't sign that many autographs. Um, and I remember on the X Factor tour, the first meet and greet we did, uh, we went into the room, and I I went round and I was just literally writing Joe on a piece of paper, just Joe, just writ it right now, and um. I remember the security the security man grimy was like, Joe, seriously, you can't have that as an autograph. And I was like, what's wrong with it? It's just my name. Um, so I had to change it. I had to make it look a bit more authentic and have my own little stamp on it. So now it's like a, it's a little posh G, as I would call it. <laughs> um, Joan says, did you learn any languages at school and did you have a favourite opera song before Pop Star or Opera Star? The only song I really knew from opera was... Um, you know, obviously the stuff that Catherine Jenkins is quite crossover, so you hear a lot of her stuff in the charts. Excuse me. So I was aware of that, but I didn't. I didn't really know anything, if I'm honest. I just knew Ness and Dorma, and that was it. Um, and I did learn French at school. I got a C in French at school, but um, more, every song that we've done so far is is in Italian. So the French isn't coming in handy. Hopefully. If I get the opportunity staying long enough, I might get a French song because it would be easy for me to to learn. Um, and thank you for saying happy birthday, Joe. Sharon Godbert says, will you be collaborating with anybody on your next album? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, it it just depends who's who's recording at the time and who's doing things like that. Um. I love collaborations. I think they're really exciting and I think it's really nice to get two people's interpretations of a song on one song and on one at one time at the same time and I think people's if you get the right person to collaborate with they can be really special and they can they can just be amazing. It can just it gives me shivers when I hear collaborations, you know, because it's just if two people's voices gel together it's fantastic. 
somebody else asked, what, if anything, is your next major purchase going to be after your car and your new house? I'm not really a big spender, you know, it took us a long time to spend, to, you know, obviously I've bought my house and a car, but I haven't, you know, I haven't, I don't really spend money, I, I buy lots of clothes, but other than that, I don't really, um, buy anything, really, it's not anything that I, yeah, I'm not really interested in spending, spending, it's not something that I do, anyways, I always feel weird talking about money, um, Joanne Jobson says, how, how's this for a random one, on forums, people often say, you've popped up in their dreams, have fans ever popped up in your dreams, um, not individual fans, but I've had dreams where I've done shows and I've seen fans and I've met people. And, yeah, because I, I get to recognise people now when I'm in my shows. I see the, the people that, that you see all the time and I see people that I've seen on Twitter. and that. So I get to know your faces and I, and I know who who's who, I think. Well, some of them. There's 200,000 followers, so it's hard to keep track of everybody. But I try, to, I try my best. Dean McGinn asks, what's your favourite drink? Diet Coke. Um, Helena said, what's your favourite song that you have ever sang? Um, I love all songs that I sing because I like putting my own twist on them. Um, and I'm learning a few more for the the, sh the upcoming shows. I'm going to throw some new ones in. And I always like to put new songs in because it keeps me on my toes when I, when I don't sing a song that I sing all the time and I'm used to. So I like to add new things and try new things. Amy says, "Hi Joe, knew you would be amazing on Popstar Opera Star. Coming to see you the day, coming to see you the day after my birthday. Can't wait. Are you still in contact with anyone from the X Factor? Yes, um, I see Ollie and Stacey now and again. I spoke to Daniel the other day. I seen Lloyd the other week at a gig. I seen Jedward the other week at a gig. Um, so yeah, I see quite a few of them, and I speak to Rachel on the phone all the time. And it's nice, you know. Everybody's really busy. Everybody's getting to do what they love and." And having a, a, a wonderful time, which is really good to see. Katrina asks, what's your most embarrassing moment? I don't even know that, you know. Um, embarrassing moment. Uh, well, I fall over all the time. I fell over on a lift a couple of months back in Manchester in front of a football... I think it was Manchester City football team. I tripped over a case and tripped over the case, fell into the lift and smacked my face off the back of the wall in the lift and I was stuck between the case and the wall and just the lift doors were closing. I could just see all this football team laughing their head off at us. <laughs> that was quite embarrassing. Had a train door shut on my head a couple of months back. Um, it whacked us in the face. I was... <laughs> I was rushing to get on a train and bang. Smashed us in the face. That, but it didn't hurt. Um, and actually just at the weekend... Um, I went to see some relatives who live outside of London and I sat on their garden chair outside we're having a barbecue and the whole chair collapsed. You know, I must have been too heavy for the chair and <laughs> a bit of wood stabbed us in the hand and I cut my hand. It wasn't good, but it was quite funny. I wish I had got it on film. It could have been on You've Been Free. Um, Leslie said, Hi Joe, hope your nan Hilda is okay. Did spot her in the audience at Opera Star. Yes, she is fine. She's, um, she loves coming down to, hang on, I've lost, let me see what's going on here. Oh, there, there we've got it. Um, she loves, she loves coming down. She just loves coming to watch it and she, she loves being in the studio, but she can never understand why they, they film her. And I'm like, Grandma, they're just filming you for a reaction on the telly. And she's like, well, I didn't see a camera anyway, which is, uh, she's funny. <laughs> um, Hayley says, would you ever like to do a duet with Cheryl? Um, yeah, you know, I love Cheryl. I really admire what she does in her work. I love her music, so why not? You know, it would be it would be great. Um, happy birthday to Laura LJ91. Um, I'm just looking at the questions. They start flicking down really fast now when I refresh it. Hang on. If somebody asks, would you like a, a birthday wish, a birthday, um, a birthday hello from Beyonce, that would be nice. Um, what would you like to call your next album, says Top Secret 73. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I could have a competition and you guys could choose it. We'll see. 
Um, who do you think is the biggest threat in pop star or opera star? Um, I'm trying to think. I think everybody's really different, and I think everybody has their own fan bases. Everybody does different styles of music, so it depends who tunes in and watches the show. And I, I think everybody's doing a really, really good job. You know, it's they're, they're doing so well, and I kind of wish everybody the best of luck. And I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. You know, that's all I can do. Um, let's have a look. This is when it starts going slow because I'm trying to catch up with the questions. Somebody said, will you be in Birmingham soon? I hope I'll be back in Birmingham soon. And would you do a duet with Jedward? Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love Jedward. Um, but I'm not sure how our music taste would match. Um, I just I just enjoy watching them perform. They absolutely crack me up. They're just the hardest working guys ever. And, you know, they're great. They're absolutely great. Siske Enrique asks, how was Take That? They were absolutely amazing. The atmosphere in the stadium was so good. You know, everybody was singing the songs and I kind of, I was a bit jealous. I wanted to just get up there and sing with them because it was just, it looked absolutely amazing. Courtney McKean says, can I have a shout out please? Hello, Courtney. Um, Do you watch The X Factor in France? That's from Daria Zapparoli. Um... I don't, I've never seen X Factor in France. I don't know, I've never, I, I don't know whether we get that on TV over here, but if, I'm going to have a look on YouTube now and have a look. Um, are you going to be following fans on Twitter? Yes, I'm starting to do that now. Uh, I haven't done any for a couple of days, but I will start doing them again and start following you guys and getting that done. Um... Right, let's have a look. Oh my god, everybody's sending questions. It's going wild. How about crossing over to the US? I'd absolutely love to come to the US. Um, and hopefully, somewhere along my career, it will take us over there and I can come and do some music over there. Because it's just... I think it's really good to experience di people's different music tastes in different places. And it's... I'd love to come there. Are you playing at Pride of Torbay in July? Yes, I am. So whoever's going there, I shall see you there. Um, when you come to Cardiff, that's from Jess. Um, I don't know yet. We're well, hopefully we can get some more shows to um, put in the diary, and I can come out to see you guys in Birmingham, Cardiff, Manchester, and yeah, get to see all all your faces out there again. Um, Melo Filiac asks, will you ever come out to Asia um, and Singapore? Yeah, well, I did. Um, I did some interviews and some press for Malaysia and my song actually gets played on the radio out there, I think, quite a bit, Ambitions. Um, so yeah, I'd like to go out there maybe and perform it for everybody and see see what happens. But, it, you know, all these things are are um, are all being discussed and talked about right now and it's it's something that we'll, we'll definitely try and do. Um... If you could describe your fans in what word in one word, what would it be? Amazing. Um oh one word. Can I not use a couple? Amazing, um supportive, feisty, um and very generous. Yeah, you you support and feistiness. You've got me back, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um Would you do a song with Diana Vickers? That's from Pablo. Yeah, I love Diana. Diana cracks me up. She's hilarious, and I love her. I love her voice. She's got a fantastic voice. And Mebby's, you know, all these all these people, I'd love to duet with them. You know, I, as I said before, I love collaboration, so I'd be more than happy to to do something like that. It would it would be amazing. 